Encounter me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, I pray right now that you just touch, touch both of these women right now in Jesus' name. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. This is my first YouTube video. So I'm out with my boy Lovato. We went to the mall, did some encounters. Usually I'll do stuff like this without the camera, but I felt motivated to bring out the camera and just put it on YouTube. Hopefully encourage people to go share their faith, give you some ideas on how you can share your faith. And I think we had a good encounter. Let me know what you think and leave a like if you want more content like this. Uh, names. My name's Ayana. Ayana. Nakaya. Uh, okay, so we're, we're just really spiritual. We like to do like spiritual interviews. So our first question be like, where do you guys think we're going when we die? Like just a personal question? Yeah, like what do you believe? Um, I feel like we are going to be reincarnated. Reincarnated? Yeah, okay. that's what I believe. Okay, mine's kind of long, but I feel like whatever religion, spiritual belief, whatever you put your energy into, you kind of like manifest that ending for yourself like christians heaven or hell you know i know other uh, reincarnation nirvana whatever um and that kind of shows because like regardless of what religion you talk to they all have some kind of encounter like you know and it's not really a coincidence that everybody has their own encounter even though there's different religions so i feel like it kind of just depends on what you personally believe in right okay so where did you pick up on that belief of reincarnation? Is that something you grew up with or you just like the idea? No, it's more so, um, you know, there's, okay, so there's a story like my brother passed away three years ago oh. and then he passed away like in April of three years ago and um, my sister was supposed to be born on his birthday. So I have a sister, like seven month old sister now and I feel like she's a reincarnation of him like I started I just recently started believing in it really but I feel like she's a reincarnation of my brother so that's that's why I believe in it for real so your sister you believe like a, your sister you believe is a reincarnation of your my brother sister, yeah I believe my okay. sister my little sister seven months old is my reincarnation of my brother yeah. you see like similarities between them or something yeah yeah pretty much yeah, yeah. act the same way they act the same way and everything so yeah gotcha. I want to share what I believe a little bit real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So I was an atheist, right? Mm -hmm. I was atheist for like maybe two years strong. So I would go on TikTok. You guys have TikTok? Yeah. 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 So you ever see those like people on live and they're like, debate me on this, debate me on that. Mm -hmm. So I was one of those people and I was like, God is not real. And what I would do is I would debate people all the time. I was always studying that. It's literally what like got me out of bed was to be like, God is not real. And I love to debate people on it. And then I met my wife here. So she's on the camera. And what happened was we we're in the same company, right? It's the same like um, sales company. And so she invited me to church to meet up. And it was crazy because we lived 10 minutes apart. Our whole team lived in um, California. So I figured out she lived 10 minutes apart from me and she invites me to church. I'm like, bro, I don't want to go to church. I'm an atheist, right? I don't believe in none of that. So she invites me to church and then I go, we kind of like figure out where we stand, right? And she's like able to realize, oh dang, he doesn't believe in God. And everyone's asking me about Jesus. And I'm like, Jesus, I don't, I don't relate. So then she invites me to like Bible study she invites me to like um, Sunday service, all this and that. And I'm literally just around her because I'm like, I just want to pick her brain because she's making so much money in this business, right? So as we kept like just getting involved, she invites me to our, our company event, okay? And then at our company event, we start debating. And I'm like, God's not real, all this and that. And I'm like, I'm getting cocky because she doesn't even know how to respond. So she said one thing, she said, why don't you want to believe? And I was like, I would believe, but there's no evidence. And then she shook her head. It was just something about the way she shook her head. And I was like, you know what? That was a lie. I don't want to believe. And right then and there, I asked her, can you pray for me to see the truth, whether I want to believe it or not? And she prays for me. And I felt like this fresh wind in my body. Like I felt power, but it was gentle and it was loving and it was kind and I start shaking to the point where I can't even stand up. I, I, I'm literally on the ground. I'm like, what do I do? And she's like, do you want to accept Jesus? I'm like, yeah, I'll accept Jesus. And 
she baptized me. We got married two months later. And that's, that's really what happened to me. And I felt like a peace that I can't really explain. Do you guys feel like you have peace in your life right now? Or I'm still learning. Yeah. So I feel like I'm coming into like getting to that peace. But, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still getting into that bond with God, you know? Because yeah. I, I believe in God. I believe in it. It's just not a strong bond with him just yet, you know? You just want to grow closer. Right. Maybe like you want to realize the truth. Like you want to, like you have all these ideas and they seem to make sense, but it's hard to follow it. It's hard to be guided by it because you don't know how to put yourself in that. Like where does, what's your name again? Ayana. Like where does Ayana align with this right. divine nature, you know? Mm -hmm. So can I pray for you guys yeah, to like, course. are you guys open to maybe receiving the Holy Spirit? and seeing if he touches you yeah. yeah all right so just relax and then and just say just say this say say jesus, jesus if you're real if you're real encounter me encounter me with your holy spirit with your holy spirit in jesus name in jesus name amen amen heavenly father i pray right now that you just touch touch both of these women right now in jesus name let your love be shown to them let every demon that's been encountering them to come off right now in Jesus name all attacks on the mind at night all fear go right now in Jesus name all anxiety go right now in the name of Jesus let them be filled with your love touch them Lord touch them more and more in Jesus name amen, amen. did you guys feel anything I feel like something here and there yeah a little lighter yeah yeah mm -hmm. so what do you guys what do you think that was have you ever felt that before when I pray, yeah, like I started, I just recently started like really praying. Yeah. So whenever I pray to him or like, you know, just pray, it feels better. I feel lighter. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, like moments I know like when I've really been going through stuff and people have prayed for me, I really feel it. Like just in like really like deep moments, I guess. Yeah. Do either of you deal with like intense anger ever? Yes. I it literally like, runs in it runs in my family. Yeah. 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 And it's like you don't even like it. Like sometimes your blood just boils and you're angry that you get angry. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's a spirit. It's a spiritual thing. And they can like the spirit of anger can attach to us when we're not in the in line with God. Because he's our protection, he's our peace, he's our love. So when we're outside of that, we're open to a lot of the a lot of attacks from the enemy because we have a real enemy who's out here to steal kill and destroy he wants to steal your loved ones he wants to steal your happiness he wants to steal everything from you and ultimately destroy you and kill you so yeah what do you guys think about that like have you ever encountered evil i'm not really sure like i've been through a lot a lot more than a, a kid or any type of person should go through. So I don't really know if I've encountered evil, but I have encountered like hardships right. through life and stuff. So yeah, that's all I can really say about that. How about you? Have you ever like felt like the presence of evil ever? I feel like a few times I wouldn't really be able to like pinpoint what it was, but like something just didn't feel right. And I know like I I know a lot of people who also can like like feel when something's up. You know, yeah. somebody's energy spirit isn't right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, what do you guys know about Jesus Christ? Did you grow up in the church at all? Yes. Yeah. But it's been. Uh, I've grew up. I grew up with, with church, but it's not like my grandma does it more than my parents actually do it. So I kind of like. That's why I'm like my shift between God and myself has it's shifted because I wasn't grown up into as much. Like, yeah. I think at the age of seven, I stopped going to the church. So, okay. yeah. That, like, kind of church hurt like or you just it was boring to you um i'm not i don't know like just, just fell away yeah just it kind of just fell away because you know i was a kid so like I'm, all, I'm always gonna go where my parents are gonna go so and then as, as you get older and you start growing a conscience it's like oh uh, i don't like i don't we don't even go to church so what's the point of being christian you know at that point like so yeah, yeah. well what do you guys think about maybe accepting Jesus into your heart after this interview? Is that something you're ready for or you, you're not really sure yet? I'm ready for it. Yeah. I am. Yeah. But I just know it's going to take a, it's going to be a lot right. to do it at one time. So, you know, yeah. gradually get into it. Yeah. So like the thing with Jesus, 
he'll meet you where you're at. Like, I did not deserve to be met where I was at. I was a blasphemer. Like, I was literally trying to destroy people's faith by debating them every day. And he met me right where I was at because he cares about us so much. He loves us so much. So don't focus too much on like, maybe, oh, I'm not perfect enough or I'm not, um, I'm sinning too much. Is that kind of like what's holding you back, you think? You think you're like in sin or? I, I think it's just because I'm going through so much right now. So it's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, like, I'm practicing every day to be better with God, but it's just like there's so many things that could set me off or set like anything outside off. I just feel like I'm not really in the right environment yeah. to be like fully practicing right now. But I am practicing like minor, like you know, so. What, what if God could take all that burden off of you? I'd accept it. Yeah? Yeah. So one of the things that really helped me is realizing how much we need to let God own us for him to be responsible for our burdens. So like think about owning a house, right? If the garage door breaks, you're responsible for fixing that garage door, right? But what if you rent out a house? Who has to fix the garage door if it breaks? Yeah, like the landlord, right? Yeah. So if we're telling God, you own me, he's gonna be responsible for your anger, He's going to be responsible for your depression, your anxiety, all your trauma. He's going to be responsible for fixing all of that. But if you're like, you know what, God, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to just let you rent me out. Then you're responsible for your anger. You're responsible for your depression. You're responsible for all your anxiety because you're saying, I own myself. But God wants us to be a living sacrifice to him. And worship in the Bible is seen as sacrifice. So. When Abraham is about, it. have you heard of Abraham and Isaac in the Bible? Yeah. So it's when Abraham was going to sacrifice his son Isaac, and that was resembled as worship. So we're called to be a living sacrifice, which means we worship him by living. You know. So what does God want to do with my eyes? What does God want to do with my ears? What does He want to do with my hands, my mouth, my feet? Those belong to Him. So if they belong to Him then we can begin to start seeing how he can fix our lives, you know? And it'll, like God knows everything, right? So he knows exactly what you need to make you feel that state of peace that you want. Does that like help help at all? Does, have you ever heard anything like that before? Yeah, like from yeah. people here and there, yes, I have. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have anything else you want to add? Or? Uh, not really, no. Not really. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let me pray for you guys one more time. Okay. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this encounter. I'm just so grateful for these uh, two kind souls that are just so humble and loving, and I can just sense that they have a good heart. Lord, I just pray, pray that you bless their steps, that you show them the truth, that you just let them uh, live a life full of love that you desire for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Ayana? Yes, I am. Ayana you guys just shopping around? Yeah. Ayana and Nakaya. Nakaya, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, bless. You too. Have a nice day. Thank you. No problem.